Rolex is undoubtedly one of the top luxury watch brands globally, having achieved widespread recognition and success over the years. Its popularity in pop culture through collaborations with iconic figures such as Paul Newman and James Bond, as well as its exceptional functionality and stunning elegance, contribute to its international acclaim. Welcome to another episode of The Steady Ticker. Do you have a soft spot for watches? Subscribe now to The Steady Ticker and click the notification bell to keep posted on the latest news on different luxury watch brands and its industry. We create contents on trivias, intricacies, history and anything under the weather about luxury watch brands and their models. For this episode, we'll explore 15 fascinating facts about Rolex watches that you probably have never heard of. First and foremost, the Rolex headquarters is security. The Rolex headquarters is incredibly secure, even surpassing the security measures of a high security prison. This is due to various reasons. Firstly, the presence of gold bars worth over a million pounds adds to the level of security at the headquarters. These gold bars are likely used for various purposes, such as investment or as collateral for loans. The value of the gold bars, combined with the other security measures in place, creates a highly secure environment. Secondly, the use of bank vault doors with fingerprint scanners is a sophisticated security measure that prevents unauthorized access to the headquarters. These doors are built to withstand various types of attacks and can only be accessed by authorized personnel whose fingertips have been registered with the system. Thirdly, the use of unmarked armored trucks to transport Rolex parts between sites is another security measure that ensures the safety of the brand's valuable assets. By using unmarked trucks, Rolex minimizes the risk of theft by not drawing attention to the valuable items being transported. Fact number two, Rolex is a Swiss brand born in London. Rolex's origin story began in London in 1905 when a young German named Wildstoff founded a firm that specialized in watches featuring small movements produced by a Swiss factory in Vienna. Wildstoff partnered with his brother-in-law Alfred Davis and it wasn't until 1919 that the shop relocated to Switzerland after the British government imposed a 33% tax on all imported goods to finance World War I debts. Fact number three, Rolex watches are handmade. Each Rolex watch is crafted entirely by hand, and the assembly process can take up to a year per watch. Rolex prides itself on producing almost every component of the watches in-house, ensuring that each timepiece complies with strict standards and procedures. Once all the watch parts are completed, they undergo a rigorous quality assurance procedure before being hand-assembled and tested. This process is incredibly thorough and intense, and it ensures that every Rolex watch meets the brand's high high standards for quality and precision. Fact number four, Rolex is actually a charity. The Hans Wilsdorf Foundation was founded in 1944 after the death of Hans Wilsdorf's wife. Since then, the ownership of the Rolex brand has been under the purview of the Hans Wilsdorf Foundation, which has established strict guidelines for the management of the brand's finances and earnings. However, Swiss laws prohibit private charities like the Hans Wilsdorf Foundation from publicly disclosing their charitable activities. As a result, the specific charities supported by the foundation remain undisclosed. The Rolex Foundation keeps the amount of funds and donations it provides confidential, making it impossible to determine whether anyone has received aid from the foundation. Due to the confidentiality policy of the foundation, there is no publicly available information regarding the charitable contributions or beneficiaries of the foundation. Fact number five, Rolex wasn't originally called Rolex. Rolex is a household name when it comes to luxury watches, but the company didn't start under that name. The initial company was actually called Wildstoff & Davis, which was named after its founders, Alfred Davis and Hans Wildstoff. Wildstoff is widely recognized as a driving force behind the concept and creation of the company. Hans Wildstoff, a German national, was the one who came up with the idea of creating wristwatches that will be accurate, reliable and elegant at the same time. In 1905, he partnered with his brother-in-law, Alfred Davis, to create Wildstoff & Davis. The company's main focus was on producing high-quality wristwatches that could compete with the pocket watches that were popular at the time. Hans Wildstoff's love and knowledge of watchmaking 
combined with Alfred Davis's background in financing and international trade, proved to be a winning combination. Together, they founded the company that still exists over 100 years later and is adored by watch enthusiasts all over the world. Fact number 6. Rolex watches raise the morale of the British troops. During World War II, Hans Wilsdorf's gesture of providing Rolex watches to British prisoners of war boosted their morale. Wilsdorf proposed that all British prisoners of war could order any Rolex watch of their choice and pay for it whenever they liked. The idea behind this gesture was to uplift the spirits of the British troops during a difficult time. The proposal was successful and around 3,000 watches were sent to the O-Flag 7B POW camp in Bavaria alone. It was a noble act by Wilsdorf, considering he was German himself and was going against his own nation. Fact number 7. Rolex uses the most expensive stainless steel in the world. Rolex watches are known for using the most expensive stainless steel in the world, known as 904L. This sets them apart from the other luxury watches that typically use the 316L stainless steel grade. Rolex started using the 904L grade in 2003, which is more durable and contains a higher level of nickel than the 316L grade. This investment in upgrading their gear came at a higher cost for the brand, but it resulted in watches that have more resistance to pitting and erosion from salty seawater. This makes them ideal for Rolex enthusiasts who are swimmers and divers. In addition, Rolex watches maintain their polish much better than standard steel watches due to the 904L grade stainless steel. Fact number 8. It takes almost a year to produce a Rolex. It may be hard to comprehend, but it actually takes around one year to produce a single Rolex watch. Even though almost 1 million watches are produced each year in Switzerland bearing the iconic Rolex crown, each watch must go through rigorous testing to ensure it meets the brand's high standards. The production process is painstakingly detailed, with every element of the watch being created in-house. Each Rolex watch is hand-assembled and individually tested, demanding meticulous attention to even the tiniest details. Fact number 9. Rolex has its very own team of gemologists. Rolex has its own team of gemologists who are responsible for purchasing, testing, and setting diamonds and other precious stones in their watches. Unlike other companies that outsource this work, Rolex hires an in-house team to ensure the highest quality. The company claims that out of 20 million diamonds they have sampled over the years, only two were discovered to be fake. Each stone in an authentic Rolex watch is carefully hand-selected and set by their team of experts. Fact number 10. Rolex has its own science laboratory. Rolex boasts its own scientific laboratory, which is not uncommon for a world-renowned watch brand. However, what sets Rolex apart is its use of some of the most advanced technical equipment in the world. The laboratory is utilized for research and development, as well as testing and analyzing the intricacies of watchmaking. The laboratory employs a team of highly trained scientists and innovators who continually seek new and innovative ways to improve upon the already impressive skill of watchmaking. Fact number 11. The Baodai Rolex sold for over £5 million. In 2017, the Baodai Rolex was sold for more than £5 million. This Rolex model, the Baodai 6062, was a unique timepiece created by Rolex in 1954. It featured diamond indexes and a black dial. The watch was first auctioned in 2002 and it sold for around £240,000 at that time. However, in 2017, it shattered its previous record by being sold for more than 20 times its initial auction price, reaching a price of over £5 million. A Rolex Daytona sold for over £17 million. In 2017, the Rolex Daytona watch was sold for a record-breaking price of £17,750,000 at an auction. Prior to this, the Baodai Rolex watch had broken all previous records when it was sold for over £5 million. The Rolex Daytona watch was owned by Paul Newman himself and was named after him. It's still the sixth most expensive watch sold at auction to date. The buyer of the watch remains unknown as the transaction was conducted over the phone. The sale set a new world record for the most expensive watch ever sold at auction. Fact number 13. A Rolex kept ticking at the top of the world. Rolex watches are known for their precision and durability and their ability to perform in extreme conditions. One of the most notable examples of this occurred in 1953 when Edmund Hillary and his team became the first recorded humans to ever reach the summit of Mount Everest. All of the leaders in the expedition were wearing Rolex Oyster Perpetual watches, and despite the harsh conditions of the climb, 
none of these watches broke down or lost a second. Another impressive example of Rolex's durability occurred in 1960 when the US Navy's Bathyscaphe Trieste dove to the bottom of the Mariana Trench, which is the deepest part of the world's oceans. Few of the sailors wore Rolex watches, but those who did were surprised to discover that the watches still ran without losing a second, despite the enormous pressures of 40,000 pounds per square inch. This is a testament to Rolex's engineering and precision, and demonstrates why the brand is so highly regarded by watch enthusiasts and professionals alike. Fact number 14. The first waterproof case for a wristwatch was the Rolex Oyster. In 1926, Rolex introduced the Oyster case, marking a significant milestone in the history of watchmaking. Until then, watches were not completely immune to water damage due to their inability to prevent water from entering the case. The Oyster case, however, featured a unique patented system of screwing down the bezel, case back and crown to the middle case, which made the watch waterproof. With the creation of the Oyster case, Rolex not only produced the world's first waterproof wristwatch, but also became the first brand to manufacture it on a large scale. And finally, fact number 15. Rolex does not make watches with a see-through case back. Unlike most luxury watch companies, Rolex does not produce any watches with see-through case backs. However, there were two exceptions in the 1930s where extremely rare Rolex models had case backs made of glass. The reason for this is that it does not make sense for dive watches or tool watches to have a see-through case back as it would require a thicker back compared to steel. Moreover, Rolex prioritizes high-precision movements that are powerful and reliable rather than visually interesting as the focus is on quality and precision. And that is all the 15 facts that you probably didn't know about Rolex. Do you also happen to know a strange and outlandish fact about Rolex? Add it to this list by sharing it in the comments below. Want to hear more about watches? Hit the subscribe button below to support the Steady Ticker channel and click the notification bell to instantly know about our new videos on luxury watches. See you in the next one.